Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Activated Earth Hot News with Sunstar 555. And what we're going to be doing over here is manifesting our own new Earth reality. And um, I've been drawn to make this channel for light workers, star seeds, indigo, children, and earth angels because I feel like that it's time for us to unite. I feel like that we can reach those people that have been judged, who've been left behind, who've been ignored, even been scorned. You know, sometimes people feel like they don't have anyone to reach out. But right here, we have a star family that we all can, you know, get together right here, learn information from the Akashic Records. I do use this tarot deck right here in this channel. So we can find information from that. We can share our, our experiences, things like that. We do have a small group right now. So, um, you know, it's still the fact that, you know, even for a small group that we are still able to understand that we are all a family over here. Now, about me, my energy is a powerful force. I have conquered fears. I've been transformed from the darkness into the marvelous light. And my expectations, they stay high because I've been through enough pain to know that I cannot ever settle again. I'm calling on light workers, like I said, to help us to reunite right now. And I do feel like that with the light workers. What is a light worker? A light worker is a person that has been um, brought here at this time and, and space and moment in time to help to bring light to um, other human beings, right, that are here, that is kind of stuck in the matrix. That's kind of not really realizing what is happening all around us. And that's gonna be this could be anything. It could be government. It could be um, people, narcissists. You know, it could be also helping people to realize it's time to get into your position. To um, you know, because some of us have been actually called right here. Light work has been called right here to help these other people that has been judged and scorned. So that's what all of the light worker energy is about. Earth angels, star seeds, indigo children. It's basically all about bringing information to this planet right here and now right and over here what we're doing is really going to go into it right and find out the ancient knowledge so that we can know what we're talking about to others right so let's go ahead and jump into it and find out some information i'm going to use this akashic tarot record right here cards and i'm going to call upon the ancient wisdom of the stars of the akasha other star keepers, other star ancestors, the councils of light, the benevolent being of the highest realms only to come to us right here now. What are the messages? Allow me to the channel. What is the message that we need to know right now? Light workers, star seeds, earth angels, and the gold children. What would we need to know? Today is Sunday, May the 24th of 2020. Three cards, please. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Three cards. Oh my goodness, <laughs> my goodness, okay. I think they gave me three too. So we had the two of forces, which is the willow. We have the garden. And we have the asset. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck because the bottom of the deck is the overall energy. And over that, the bottom of the deck, we have the scribe, okay. So let's look into this and get some information right here that spirit will want us to know right here and now. Um, and let's see, Akashic Records. We are going to use the book. We always use the book so that way we can find out as much information as we can to help us on our path. Okay, so two of forces right here, the willow. It's a beautiful image. I'm liking this image right here. Okay, it's talking about a big, a big, beautiful willow tree is standing right here in the summer sun. This card indicates a time of calm. So enjoy the peaceful energy now. It also signifies a time of power, perfect for reinforcing your foundation in your work, in your family, in your spirit, and in the depth of your belief in yourself. Just like the willow, you have a peaceful strength drawn from the waters of your soul and extended through all eternity. Stand confident in your truth. Take the actions, the support, the growth of all things wonderful in your life. And know that at the end of the day, you are truly powerful. This is a beautiful image right here. I love that image right there. Yeah, and like the waters of truth, right? And look how healthy this tree is. I mean, it is healthy right here. 
So this also could be saying, you know, for some of us here, maybe we're calling in help for ourselves or to somebody else, or maybe you just simply are, okay? I am that I am, right? I am healthy, <laughs> okay? I am healthy right here, right? Because that tree is symbolizing symbolic to me of really somebody standing in their power and very healthy. Maybe somebody has called health to their, to their life, okay? It doesn't have to be health, just something that was coming up. Let's see what else Spirit wants us to know right now because... We have the Five of Roses next, which is the garden. And let's see what this card is talking about. It's talking about two children playing in a sunny, lush, green garden right here. If children are a part of your life already, this card could also kind of indicate the arrival of children. It could indicate that your children, even adult children, could become a more of a focus for you. They may have some concerns of their own, but even so, opportunities for things to mend come easily right now so it's like you and your children maybe can really mend things or you and children in general um that also could be you and when you were a child okay something like that but they send yeah it's like being at peace with the past or something or children okay so it says um there also may be real change and benefit for one of your children who has a special effort recently who have made special efforts recently this is a very adventurous time for the children around you. Enjoy it and help them to enjoy this time right here now as well. Okay, so let's look at this next card. Um, because I feel like this is like self-explanatory. You know, I feel like they, you know, children, you could be spending time with children. Or maybe this could be saying spend time with children. Okay. It's also could you be making peace with yourself or with child or with when you were a child or with um, something that happened in your past, it looks like you're making peace with it. That's what I'm getting from that. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so we have the seven of keys, which is next right here. And this is the ascent. And this card looks like somebody's very confident to me right here when I'm looking at this card right here. But it says, a man stands at the top of a mountain with a rope draped over his shoulder. The metal stakes known as pennants remain in a steep calf face that has climbed that he has climbed. Evidence of the difficult path of his ascent. The rope and the pittens may have been the physical keys necessary for his achievement, but so were his hard work and resolve. This card shows that with great effort and determination, you can apply yourself to your goals for assured success. Though there may be some risk involved, you can reach the top. There may be a promotion or advance to a much higher position. Okay. And this card also is saying right here, we're gonna say, right? and this card is also saying right here that um, understanding how that it isn't just luck or external influences but your own hard work and application that bring the achievement that you're seeking right now. So keep your efforts strong. Instead of by being passed by, you will climb the heights, okay? So it's like keep on going. Keep on trying right here. Now this for some of you, this children card, it does make me feel like for some of you, you're releasing something about your past. That's what I feel like, okay? It's like I'm at peace now over the past. That's what I'm feeling. Now, some of you, it could be actual children. And if it is children, these children could be having peace now over a past, you know, situation. Or you could help this child to have peace. I hear counseling. So maybe you're a counselor or maybe you're counseling children or something like that. But let's see right here. Describe. Okay, so the scrap right here, which is the card at the bottom of our deck. And let's see what this is saying to us. So we have um, the learned scribe writes a high desk. Nearby are a number of other working scribes. In some ancient society, scribes were simply copiers of holy texts. But in many, there were the most learned men of their time. People were well versed in law, scripture, philosophy, history, and more. This card can indicate a great unsweep in mind and study for you. If there is any subject in which you like to acquaint or reacquaint yourself to, do it. It's just it's not I'm sorry, it's not just for the sake of study, although that's always a good thing. 
the prayer of higher mind and higher learning is nothing less than a change a change of your life or the change of the world opportunity just as the right brothers begin to study the flight patterns of birds you can rise up on the wings of discovery now as well there may be a teacher or even an entire school that can help you with this upliftment be sure to seek out the right person or place of learning you can also become a writer or teach yourself at this time, elevating and contributing to others. If you're involved in any legal matters, there is a person who can help you with this. Let your great vision guide you to him or her. This could also be a time when you might find yourself writing proposals, grants, essays, blogs, articles, or books. Notice what compels you and be sure to answer the call. And I feel like with this card, yes, you could be writing things. Absolutely, you could be writing. And some of you, you also could be reading, okay? So that's what I'm getting here. But this is a lot of knowledge right here. Absolutely, this is definitely knowledge right here. Now, it do seems to me that some people are writing something. So you could be writing something. Look at the images, like everybody's writing. So you could be writing, but I also feel like you could be reading. That's also what I'm feeling like, okay? Maybe you're helping children to write, or maybe you're getting a teacher to help these children, or something like that could be, if it's about children, okay? Like I said, it doesn't have to be for everybody here, okay? All right, but it looks like a, a time of peace right here. All right, yeah, yeah. So let's get some more messages, because these are just to kick off, and we're so grateful that the universe and the benevolent beings did come to help us and get some messages from that, okay? But we're definitely going to look at some, some more. So, you guys do know I had the Divine um, Masculine Buddha Wisdom cards. And now I do have the Divine Feminine Wisdom wisdom cards. Okay, so we're going to definitely sit right here and get a message from both of them. So, let's start with Divine Masculine Energy first. And like I said before, that um, these energies, yes, they say Divine Masculine, they say Divine Feminine on them. But we both have male and energy in, inside. So I feel like, like, you know, like with feminine, it's all about being very caring, it's very, very loving. And then um, masculine is about having the power, having the strength to do something. And we both, you know, possess both of those energies. So these messages, I feel like it could be for, you know, anyone that's watching. It certainly could be, you know, you know, put down to a, a masculine and a feminine energy. But that's not how I'm saying it. Hmm. So this card says, hate. Have never yet dispelled hate. Only love dispels hate. Love brings ultimate victory. Wow. This reminds me of something that I actually wrote um, on Martin Luther King Day. I said that, um, you know, never let a man bring me low enough to hate him, right? <laughs> Always want to make sure that I'm still with the energy of love, right? And so I feel like that this is a very powerful message okay so can you see that let me see if you can see it okay there you go yeah that's better okay so it's like never let somebody um bring you to an energy of hate right only love dispels hate so send this person love if this is the person send this person love right here love brings the ultimate victory right so, I hear the word revenge, okay? So, I don't know if somebody was feeling like they need to get revenge to somebody here, or somebody was feeling like, um, you know, I just don't understand why something happened, right? Or maybe you don't understand why something happened to you, to your child, when you were a child. It could be any of those type of things, right? But I'm feeling like this card is saying that um, love is what dispels hate, is what takes hate away, right? Is the, is the love. And I'm, I'm really feeling this. I really feel like this is a very powerful, yes, like masculine type of energy because this is this is going to require power. This is going to require strength right here, right? Which is of the masculine type of energy to say, nope, this hate has to leave. I'm going to, I'm going to send love. I'm not going to send hate. I'm going to forgive, not for them, but for me, right? Yeah. So get, let's see what else I'm going to say here. So we'll get three cards from this one and we'll get um, three cards from the feminine as well. Let's get one more card. Have it out already. Okay, that one wants to come out. <laughs> so, let's see what the next one is. It says, why do you what you regret? 
and bring sorrow upon yourself. Do only what you do not regret and fill yourself with grace. And I think this card came out for us before. I'm not sure if it was on this channel or the other channel, okay? But yeah. So it's, it's simple here. Why would we do something that we're going to regret? It's only going to bring sorrow. It's only going to bring sadness. It's only going to make ourselves feel regrets, things like that, right? So nobody wants to do something that we're going to regret it in the end. We want to do something right here that is going to fill my heart with grace, which could be going back to this card, forgiving somebody, as opposed to sending hate their way or regret their way or dismay or anything else that malice or the other kind of words that we can think of that is of that type of vibration right there we want to make sure we do something that is of love right like you know you know praying that this person do heal their self you know or praying that i heal my own self you know things like that as opposed to doing something here that we will regret regret and that it will cause us some really sadness in the end right so it's like no harm to anyone right so getting that be the one who is awake and shine in the radiance of spirit okay so shine brighter than the stars right right regardless of what somebody is saying right here regardless of somebody try to bring you down regardless of they don't understand or something like that it's like you're working in the energy of love and as long as you're working in the energy of love right here you will shine you're going to shine right your spirit is going to shine right here it's going to shine regardless of what anybody try to say to bring you down when you're coming from the right place which is love it's going to shine over all of those things so somebody might keep on trying to suppress you or put you down or something like that right but at the end of the day love is shines through all so it doesn't matter if somebody for example somebody try to say this to somebody else something bad about you or something like that it's like when you're doing the right thing which is love and not hate and not doing anything that you regret or anything like that doing things that's of the positive nature and you know you're on the right path and then that energy is always going to shine forth regardless of what anybody is saying and eventually everybody will see that it was really that person and it really wasn't you and it wasn't a thing of trying to make somebody see that it's just walking in a you know in a narrow path excuse me i had to get a drink okay so let's see what divine feminine is wanting to say i'm gonna leave this off real quick and then we'll see what divine feminine they will put all back okay because some type of way it might wind up, you know, um, inter intertwining with each other. Okay, so let's see here. Divine Feminine, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Let's get three cards out right here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Allow me to be the channel. This one don't want to go in there. Okay. All right. So, let's see. So the first card here was wisdom. It dispels ignorance. So getting as much wisdom as you can, getting as much knowledge as you can, taking a look into different books, right? Because like when you um, guess something, it's not exactly it's not exactly the knowledge. But when you actually do the work and read a book or gain the knowledge, then we really do have wisdom. And it takes away anything that you don't know. Except when somebody could be trying to tell you something, right? And you listen to this person. And it's okay to listen to certain people. But the best, the best thing to do is to have the wisdom and knowledge from your own intuition. Or from doing your own research, right? Seeing it actually come from a book. Or seeing it actually come from your intuition, right? So wisdom always dispels anything that I don't know. Right, because I do have the wisdom and knowledge because I've done the work. So the next card here is saying seeing um seeing divinity in everyone and everything. You're nurturing your Buddha nature within. Right? It's like even some people they don't know that they have the God force within them, right? We still respect that person as if they is the God force within them. Because even if they don't know, you do know. And you want to see all the positive that somebody has regardless, right? Even this person tried to put you down, right? Because we have this hate, never dispel hate, right? So it's like, if this person tried to do something right here, right? You still want to see the, the divinity that is within them. What is the good that I can, I can see in this person, 
right? Or in a situation, right? Um, I'm gonna try to think of. I'm trying to think of an example, but if I can think one real quick, let's see. Okay, so example, right? When I was trying to get um a house, and I didn't know what they was gonna say. I didn't know if I was gonna be approved. I didn't know, you know. So it's like, even if I don't be approved for the house, right? I'm seeing a divinity right here. I'm seeing the the positive in a situation, right? Um, because the positive in the situation is that I overcame my fear. I did try, you know. Or um, the positive in the situation could be like, okay, now I do know that I need to fix my credit, you know. So it's like if I didn't ever go and apply for this house, I would have never known that I had to fix my credit, or I wouldn't, I would never took the next step. So it's like seeing the positive in everything, right? It's like okay, if, if one door doesn't open, another one will. If first you don't succeed, you try again, you know, things like that. So this next card says in birth decay. Let's let's start over again. In birth decay death, sorrow, and turmoil. Be the seer of the ultimate reality with faith and serenity. Mm. So, in the ultimate reality, right? Did I ever show you guys this one? I don't know if I showed you this one. This is the first one, though. Open it, I did. I'm not sure. But here go the next one, okay? So it says once again, in birth, decay, sorrow, turmoil, be the seer of the ultimate reality, right? And with faith and even serenity. You know what the ultimate reality is? The ultimate reality is that I am a spirit having a human experience right now, right? So even in my death, my spirit will still remain, right? Even with my birth, right? And the birth could be an actual physical birth of a, of a child. That this child is a spirit having a human experience, okay? Or it could be the fact like here with the birth. It's like, um, I already know the beginning, right? I, I am the beginning. So I know where the end will be as well. So like with birth, it's like, I am the beginning. I know what's going to happen. I am the one who created. I am the one who also ended, right? So in, in what? Manifestations. So it could be of anything, the manifestation of anything that you're trying to manifest, right? In birth, decay, death, sorrow, turmoil, be the seer of the ultimate reality, right? That if somebody was to pass, their spirit is still will remain. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting the most. Okay, so I'm just going to over that one. And um, I love these cards. They really do bring some serious wisdom for us. So... Um, definitely stay tuned and we definitely will have more about it. Let's see if we can get a couple of cards right here for um, the Star Seed Oracle to give us a couple more messages very quickly, right? Before we have we have about two minutes, okay? Because this video is just gonna be cutting off. So I'm thinking I have 25 minutes at least, okay? So let's see. We get a couple of cards. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, the Great Cosmic Mother, I surrender to you. You're holding. Grandma, grandfather, moon, I surrender to your horrific pulse. Great cosmic father, I surrender to your protection. Grandfather, son, I surrender to your support. Allowing us to get the message right now. With the weight of the world, you have to put boundaries up, okay? You have to let go of what's not yours. You cannot carry other people's um, lessons, okay? You can't come and be a savior for everybody here. That's what I'm getting right there, okay? I'm just going to tell you the truth about it, okay? Because some people, they do see that you have this light about you, right? And they want to come put their problems on you, which is not, it's okay to help someone, but it's not okay to take their lessons and just help them out of a situation that they're supposed to be learning from. So, example, it could be like a lover. Let's put it as a romantic situation. And this person right here, they're very sorry for some type of action that they took, right? And you said, okay, I forgive you and take them right back. That's not a lesson. 
that they're not learning a lesson like that, okay? You can't just forgive them and just take them back and then they haven't done any work to learn anything because they're just going to simply go and do that same thing again. It could be to you or it could be to somebody else. So we have to learn to allow people to have their own lessons. We have to learn right here. Like say somebody call you and say, I don't have anywhere to go. I really need a place to stay and you have an extra room right so it's not necessarily the fact that you have to open your door and get this person an extra room maybe you was using that room for your office or something like that so you have to think about these type of things you have to have boundaries right here and you cannot just save everybody i feel like you have to let people learn from their own mistakes right all paths lead you home inner authority intuition turn your gaze within Always listen to your intuition when it comes about a person that's coming to you for something. Okay, just listen to your intuition. One more card, okay, so we only have one more minute. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's see this card right here. Okay, so you're protected, okay? Loyalty, safety, and trust that. The Spirit wants you to know that you are definitely protected we have this card saying star brothers right here you are definitely protected right here by the cosmos by the universe okay and always do know that all right it says at the bottom of the deck that you are called it says soul gifts and training it's time to start stepping up now to um listen to your intuition to get the knowledge that you need right wisdom is going to be the most knowledge as opposed to not knowing something right and no we're not going to always know everything but we, you know the more wisdom and um the more that we try the more energy and the more knowledge that we are going to gain okay so i thank all of you for being over here right here right now and i send you guys peace blessings love and light and I will be on the other channel. So if you guys are following me over there, I will be going over there and do some videos as well. Okay. Namaste to all of you.